After watching and reading this week's lecture content, I decided to Google the public domain to see what kind of information and websites would pop up. Um, most of the websites were universities telling me what I had already learned through our lecture content about what the public domain was. So I decided to Google how you could find articles within the public domain. And then several websites popped up with articles or blog posts that recommended different places that you could go and look for pieces within the public domain. One that was really popular throughout all of these articles was the public domain review. So I chose that one. Once I got on there, I did a little research into it. It's a nonprofit organization. They do accept donations. But what they're doing and their goal is to collect several items that are in the public domain and piece it together for people like us to just get on the website and be able to find it quickly and easily. So once I got on here, I decided to do photos. And you can click and separate the images based on different things. So I did the content and I chose animals and beasts because I'm an animal science major. So once I got on here, the one that really interested me in the photos that you'll see throughout this slideshow are those of the early x-rays experiments that took place in 1896. Um, these photos were the first x-rays ever produced by Joseph Marie Elder and she was the director of an institute for graphic processes and a photochemist also from Austria and they worked together on this project. So also what I really appreciate about this public domain review is that each little photo comes with a little synapses of the history and the information behind it. So I really like that. Um, these were the images I found the most interesting and I hope that you all also enjoy them and that you look closely into the public domain review because I really like it.